it's Steve. Now he's just joined our sales team and needs to know who his coworkers are, where they all are, and what they're working on. Also, there's something he can't quite work out on his new iPhone. Where should he go? Well, his manager says he should just go to Hornbill for all his answers. Steve clicks on a login link and the system immediately creates a secure account for him automatically based on his company's directory service information. So, Steve adds a picture to his profile. He takes a look at his colleagues and says hello. He sees what they're working on, the workspaces that they're members of, and joins the sales workspace. He then takes a look at the self-service area, where he can request services from IT, and sees that he can register his own device that he's brought into work. So, that's what he does. He sees that there's already a workspace about his device, where he can find other people with IT tools like his and share issues and solutions. Maybe they can help solve his problem. So Steve joins the workspace, which means he will always be notified when posts are made or updated, and they will appear in his personal newsfeed, where all of his updates are gathered. So he will always be up to date with things that are of interest to him. When Steve has downloaded the Hornbill iPhone app, he checks in, checks out who is nearby, and searches for his problem in the iPhone workspace. But he doesn't find a match, so he just creates a new post and attaches a photo of what he's talking about. Pretty soon, Jennifer joins in. Steve tries her suggestion, and it works. So Steve has solved his IT issue with no involvement from the IT group, which is great for the service desk as it lets them focus on the things that they do best and brings down their costs. Also, Steve votes for Jennifer's response so that others can benefit from this discussion and solve this issue themselves in the future. But what happens if you can't find the answer within the community? Well, here goes Steve again. This time, Daniel replies in French. Well, Steve doesn't know French, but that's no problem. He just uses the translate option and instantly understands what Daniel is saying. You see, language is no longer a barrier to working together. Well, meanwhile, here's Graham. He works in IT and is watching this workspace. This issue is something that Steve won't be able to fix for himself. So, Graham joins in. All Graham has to do is select Raise Request, and with a single click, the post from the workspace becomes an incident. Graham then moves seamlessly from the world of business collaboration into the service management world, where the issue can be looked at and processed by the service desk using well-defined processes. You see, the beauty of this is that the formal ITSM world now has a two-way link with the less formal collaborative world. A comment with the incident reference is posted back to the post from which it originated, and so will the resolution meaning that members of that workspace will automatically know when an issue is sorted out. And they'll hear about it not in an email or a separate interface, but through the collaborative community. Meanwhile, Graham can fill in the remaining incident details, guided by Hornbill's easy-to-use progressive capture feature. He can then use the built-in library features to look for solutions for the issue. You see, these hold searchable knowledge in multiple formats, not only for service desk staff and for end users to serve themselves, but also as a reference and repository for the outputs of business collaboration. So Graham logs a change request from the incident, and immediately Hornbill's process engine kicks in and automatically creates and assigns the necessary activities, including authorization. In another country, Rosemary the change manager is on her way to a meeting and receives a notification on her tablet that she has an authorization pending. And even though she's away from the office, Rosemary has live access to the information that matters to her, the up-to-date information she needs to make the right decisions. So she takes a look at the activity, looks up the details of the change request, and approves with one click. Being on the move is no barrier to taking actions that keep the business working. And so the process goes on moving from one predefined coworker to another, following the processes that have been designed and configured by Rosemary and her colleagues, not by some expensive consultant, until the change is released 
any linked problems are resolved, the original incident is resolved, and Steve gets a notification that the issue that he posted in that workspace has been resolved, and he can get back to collaborating with his coworkers, which, in the end, is what business is all about. So, how has this made all the people that we've met happy? Well, Steve is happy because he can collaborate with his coworkers, wherever they are, and can easily get any issues he has resolved. Jennifer is happy because she gets kudos from helping others just by posting her advice and others voting on it. Daniel is happy because he can work better by using his native language. Graham is happy because he has less calls to deal with now that users can help themselves. And Rosemary is happy because she no longer has a backlog of tasks waiting for her at the office. She can deal with it on the fly and keep business processes moving. Thanks for listening and happy collaboration.